the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Lewis's ring walk is very interesting here. This isn't over the top emotion. This isn't a guy with an intense glaring stare. Just a guy going to do his job. Johnson's ring walk, not exactly full of fanfare. What's up guys, this is Crook for Money, bringing back the Lennox Lewis Challenge, issued by Sakuraba1982. His link will be in the description below. If you like my videos, check out the Bingo Hall of YouTube and show them support. The link will be in the description below, along with the previous entries of the Lennox Lewis Challenge. I made a whole playlist so you can find all of them in one place. But let's get back into the video. My opponent using Jack Johnson has a record of 2,836 wins, 1,312 losses. And that's a pretty good record, probably the best record I've came across and actually uploaded to my channel. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh... One thing I didn't know is that Jack Johnson is a legend, legend DLC, I think, or something like that. And uh, he has a pretty good overall. His overall is pretty high. And I figured he was pretty good, but I wasn't sure. And then I saw that record and I was thinking, I didn't know what to think. I figured I was going to lose because usually when I come across the really big record I automatically assume that I'm gonna get a bullshit loss or I'm gonna lose by decision or something like that but I always make an effort to try because that's the whole point so that's what I did I just kept trying I didn't really care about his record the only thing I do when I see a record like that is it gives me motivation to try hard of course so I put my try-hard pants on as Lennox Lewis. And of course I was using him for the challenge, so obviously wanted to get a win for the challenge. And yeah, that's how that went. I cut this video into the best moments that I could think of in the match. I acquired all the knockdowns because I actually searched through the video to make sure that I acquired all the knockdowns that occurred. I skipped the second round and went into this round because just to show the scorecards, just to show how the fight has been going. And it really hasn't been going in my favor, of course. Uh, yeah, my record's not as good as this guy's, obviously. But yeah, what the one thing that I noticed with this guy is that he was a pretty good fighter. Like, I'd say he was pretty legit. He did end up sidestepping quite a bit after a while, and I didn't really appreciate that. He made me throw quite a quite a bit of body shots because of it, and it was getting kind of annoying to be honest. But overall, I think he kind of fought a decent fight, kind of like a the kind of fight you would want. So it wasn't that big of a deal. I didn't feel like I was getting cheated or anything. So yeah, that's how that was going. Uh, a couple of these rounds I put together like the best weapons that Lennox Lewis has, which of course is the jab and straight. And right there I get caught with an uppercut, get dropped. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what exactly happened. I think it was just... Just a lucky punch. One of the issues with Lennox Lewis is of course his chin. He gets stunned quite easy. That was a critical stun. Couldn't really do anything about that. So that was a problem. But besides that, if you don't get critically stunned and minor stunned all over the place using Lennox Lewis, then I think this is the best fight that I could bring to prove that Lennox Lewis really isn't that bad of a fighter. Not as bad as people give him credit for. He's actually really good. He has really good strengths. He has the really effective jab, really effective straight. His hooks are pretty good. They come at the right angles and everything. They really, they're wide and stuff. 
but they're not like, I don't know. It's just, they're really good punches. He has really good punches, that's just basically what I'm trying to say. And he has really good range, of course, with his jab straights. Uh, really good range, period. And you can see right there, we're not really doing too good on the scorecards, of course. Wouldn't have it any other way, of course. I'm not really good at winning rounds. That's just, it's not my style. My style is getting knockouts, getting knockout wins. Getting decisions really isn't in my playbook, sadly. Of course, I would like to be able to have the judges in my back pocket and just pick up wins doing that because I do try to wear people out. Especially with all the spamming that goes in the game, the first thing I think of is you're a spammer and I'm going to wear you out and get a win. Whether it's by decision, whether it's by knockout, usually ends up by knockout or me losing a decision because that's just how it goes. I'm not good at getting decisions. Uh, the game obviously caters towards counter punchers, so if you're a counter puncher, you're going to win on the scorecards. That's just plain and simple. Doesn't matter how aggressive you be, you're gonna lose on the scorecard. It's just how it goes. But yeah, right there you saw we caught our first knockdown. And yeah, pretty much from here on out we're just working him. And uh, one of the things in my game plan is that I've been practicing my blocking. I've been practicing it quite often because the best players have really good defense and having an aggressive style I kinda only have the knowledge of defense but I don't really I don't really try to perfect it so I'm trying to perfect it more become a better boxer and yeah pretty much just stop trying to get knockouts left and right because you're not gonna get a knockout every fight so, you really need to be aware of the chance that you're going to get wore out. And one of the things about this game that I'm not sure many people know is that when you get wore out and you're pretty much gassed, your blocking is not as effective. So, if you have higher stamina, you can pretty much block every punch if you're good at blocking. And yeah, we caught him with another knockdown right there. I wasn't even paying attention to that. But yeah, we got him with another knockdown. Uh, but back to the blocking. If you have high blocking, you're really good at blocking. Or high stamina and you're really good at blocking. Then you can pretty much block every single punch without that much of an issue. If you're really good at blocking and your stamina is really low. You're going to have some issues. You're going to become an average your defense is going to become average if you're not very good at blocking and you have low stamina it's going to be become it's going to be come less than average so stamina plays a big part if you have no stamina of course your health gets dropped picked apart like it's going out of style if you have no stamina you can pretty much get hit with two punches and get knocked down as opposed to four it's it's the whole stamina system it plays a big part in in your game. High stamina, you don't get hurt as easy. It's Stamina plays a really Im big importance in this game. So you definitely don't want to be getting gassed out. Uh, another strategy I've been implementing is, of course, my head movement. I'm not really good at blocking, so I use my head movement quite a bit to try to get out of the way of punches. Whether I'm blocking or not, I try to use the head movement to get out of the way of the punches. Uh, some punches like the straight to the body, or the jab to the body straight to the head are pretty hard to avoid even when you use head movement. Those are pretty much punches that come when you're against the ropes, and I don't realize this a lot of the time. But uh, yeah, get off the ropes when that happens so you can back step or... Just get out of range. Uh, there are strategies that you can implement to to do things. And sometimes I don't really see them. 
Most of the times you won't see stuff like that in head-to-head, -head. you'll mostly see stuff like that with overpowered OWC fighters, but that's just one of the strategies you can use. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Right here you can see this dude is getting really hurt and he's trying to hold on. I'm pretty much doing whatever I can to keep him from holding on. And we catch him right there with the knockdown. He could not stop the onslaught that was Lennox Lewis. And that's how it goes. Lennox Lewis is a good fighter, you know? Minus the, the chin issue, he's a good fighter. Right there, that's fight over. Lennox Lewis defeats Jack Johnson. Pretty good record. There it is, the Lennox Lewis challenge. The new Lennox Lewis challenge. Better record, better video, better quality. Leave a like on the video. I think this is going to be my like last video. I might play this game like on stream and stuff, but I think uh, for YouTube this is pretty much like my last video. I really get no enjoyment out of this game. I'm going to try to bring, uh, if there's a demand for it, I'll bring uh, like fighter requests to my channel. But other than that, I'm not just going to play this game to put it on my channel anymore. But yeah, that's the video. I'm going to try to work on like actual like videos rather than stuff like this and try to bring better content. But that's it. Peace. I'm out. Yes, like that. Yeah. We play the right track. Right. You say you fight back, but you were making fight a stagnant. Nope. Retaining your mind from sadness. Afraid of action. Too late as we establish.